Cabo San Lucas was a fish camp that has gotten out of control and now it's a crazy place for people to come and get carried. We're going into the marina of Cabo San Lucas now without doing anything of the other things which were mentioned by the captain. Uh, well, that's life. Okay, we are in Cabo San Lucas now. The tiny little village, which is today a huge party town. Actually, at one time it was just a fish camp, but the real history was in the 1700s, 16, 1700s, where uh, this was the place that the pirates liked to hang a hideout behind this little point uh, while the Malayan galleons came in from the Philippines and they could put a watchman on the, on the hills up here see the galleons coming back from Chi the Chinese trade in the Philippines and be able to be ready to sail out and capture them. And there was a uh, English pirate who actually used it to raid the Malayan galleons and, and took a very large uh, uh, ship right here. And it was basically because it's perfect little anchorage for a short period of time and all of the traffic coming back with gold and silk and everything else was coming right past them. And so they just sat out here and obviously drank a lot of the rum and, and drank beer until uh, somebody up on the hill said, let's go, here they come. So, so there was a big captured ship here and uh, I, the captain of it survived, the Spanish captain. And he went on to uh, sail many more trips, even though he got captured here. So that's the that's the real uh, history of Cabo San Lucas. San Jose del Cabo was um, actually um, garrisoned with a presidio, a, a military base, because the pirates were using that as the watering hole, and they knew that if you, if you control the water, you can could control what was going on and so they actually put a garrison there in the 1700s very old city very traditional spanish it wasn't a fish camp it was founded as a as a city right from the get-go and um, really has a totally different feel than what Cabo san lucas is i'm at the marina Marina del Rey in Cabo San Lucas here right now and well it's a huge marina with a lot of cruise ships a lot of tourism but nevertheless I jump into the water here right now to check out the marine life directly here in the harbor let's see what it offers back right now from a little jump into the water in the marina um, actually I was told that it's not allowed here to jump into the water doesn't matter um, I had a quick look at the life here and there's a lot of different fish here swimming around so this is El Cosario beach it's the closest beach directly next to the marina well on one side uh, in the morning it's pretty lonely, whereas in the afternoon it's crowded with families and in the evening it's also full of people enjoying the sunset. So this is obviously the family beach right here next to the marina. Yeah, I'm running into a lot of children here. <laughs> Getting to the next beach as soon as possible. And right next to El Rosario, right next to the beach here, there are beautiful coral reefs accessible to everyone who comes here to the beach. Just go snorkeling in there, a few meters, a few feet to the side and there's a beautiful marine wildlife. Amazing fish I've seen there, corals.
Okay. That's way more beautiful than I thought. Coral reef here of Cabo. A lot of beautiful fish directly next to the city. Although there are a lot of tourists, the nature is pretty intact. Well, you find a little bit of trash. That's sad. One more time snorkeling here in the reef, directly next to the city of Cabo. What, what other beaches are there? There's uh, Lover's Beach and there's the Boar's Beach. Yeah. Oh. There's uh, Married, Married? Mary Beach. Okay. Yeah. A, uh, Singles Beach. And then there's Sarova Beach. <laughs> the best there's one. A, there's always one somewhere. <laughs> Nice pier, nice walk here. The only thing which is really disgusting is that you're everybody wants to sell you something. <laughs> yeah. Mexico's Las Vegas. Yeah. The strip. Smallest, the smallest bar of, of Cabo. It's good roll. <laughs> that looks nice. Yeah. Really nice tacos. You just bought my first surfboard, bodyboard. Hell yeah. Okay. What do you think about it? Speed it's bar. a good one. <laughs> Free wax. Oh. Nice. Give a shout out. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, man. Thanks, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, gracias. Yeah, we're leaving the, the party town now with a bodyboard. Really nice. This happens every afternoon, all the sundown. <laughs> Some people are enjoying their afternoon on a boat like that. Some people are working hard down here. <laughs> Cabo San Lucas, but well, it's very Americanized and well, it's, it's hardcore it's, tourism. It's hardcore tourism, party town, definitely. It is, it's sort of like the um, Fort Lauderdale of, of Mexico. This is where uh, spring break really blossoms. Mm -hmm. If and not, the, explodes. <laughs> and the ancient estuary, which has been here in the harbor, doesn't exist anymore at all. The people voted to be able to, to build a marina, and the uh, government came in and actually dammed it up, went in with bulldozers, cleared it all out, and created one of the, the largest economic employment stimulus packages in the history of Mexico is Cabo San Lucas. More jobs, more uh, economic opportunity, more uh, 
more um, transformation than almost anywhere else in Mexico. Bye bye, Cabo.